Hey guys, Adam here from Pause Games, and today we are taking a look at Parkitect Alpha 19. Um, so the uh, this new alpha update released a couple of days back. Um, so apologies, this video is a little bit late, but let's take a look at the changes. Um, so like I said, this is Alpha 19. Um, the update um, hasn't been put here just yet. However, here it is on the screen. So we'll go through some of the new changes. Uh, so uh, they have added scenery, visibility and rating system. Um, they've added in the immersion stat for guests which show how much they like the scenery. Um, they've added the park and ride scenery ratings. Uh, scenery protects uh, ride paths from the rain. Um, we've got a new coaster which is a water coaster uh, and a new monorail ride, gentle monorail. So we'll take a look at those in a few minutes. Um, they've also added scarecrow entertainer costumes, skeletons, mausoleum and some sculptures. Um, there's been some new scenario settings added like can't change park entrance fee, uh, free ride entrance and things like that. Um, added all current guest thoughts to guest overview window. Um, a bigger 45 degree curve option. Um, added a right click to turn off all of the theme buttons in the uh, deco, deco builder window. Again, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, guest performance has been improved uh, and the search has been improved through, um, for scenery. Um, fixed a case where trains could derail for no reason. Um, fixed haul has not been able to pick up crates. Um, and oh, another fix. So that is what's in this new change log. So we'll take a look at the new rides and scenery in a few moments. And um, the other thing that they've updated is the build challenge. So for Alpha 18, um, we had. Um, let me try and find it in here. Oh, it's, no, it's gone. And um, we had a coaster um, build challenge. This time we have a haunted mansion. Um, ghost dark ridey type thing um, so you've got to build a ghost mansion ride within the available area um, the top submissions get included in the uh, next game update as blueprints so that's how this works so again if you've got the alpha um, get involved and design one of these bad boys and then up and down vote for your favorites um, right let's get in the game and have a look at the new stuff in alpha 19 Okie dokie, right we're in. So let's first take a look at the new ride. So we have a new water coaster which is in here somewhere. There it is, water coaster. So we'll build a very small one in a second, have a look how that works. Uh, and the other thing we have which is, I'm guessing the transport rides. Mm, no, we need it in here. Um, is it under coasters? Yeah, maybe it's in here. Gentle monorail ride, I believe that's the new one. Yep, that's the new guy. Uh, I don't know why it's under coasters. I mean, it's on a track, but that seems a bit strange. Um, but yeah, that's in there. So we'll build those in a second and have a quick look. Um, scenery, we have got some new skeletons and whatnot. Um, so, ah, I see. So you can right click now and it deselects, deselects everything else. That's pretty neat. That was something that was a bit of an issue before. So, the new pieces then. Um, I know these new trees were added quite recently. I'm not sure if I've covered those in an update yet. But these were added um, not too long ago. And obviously they are colourable as well. Um, but they are quite nice pieces. Again, I'm so apologies if I've already covered these. Um, but I know they're relatively new. Um, there was some new mausoleum piece, which is here. Well, that's quite nice. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that. And some new uh, skeletons. So let's have a look through all these. So we've got pile of bones. Uh, we have these are all, uh, most of these, uh, actually all of these are scalable as well. Uh, skeleton with a little hat, which is colorable as well as scalable. So let me show you what I mean by scalable for anyone who's quite new to the game. So bump him up, see, make him big. Does that make a really good entrance? That's really cool. awesome, nice. Uh, there's a standing up guy, standing up skeleton. Uh, we have a skeleton alive. So what is he like? Half in the water, uh, in the water, half in the ground. There's a dead skeleton, skeleton, and a head. Uh, and as as before, all scalable, so you can have to make some massive like skeleton head theming. So that's almost as big as the tree. So it gives you an idea of how um, they work. So that's that. What else did we get? Um, uh, Muslim sculptures. 
Uh, I'm assuming they're in generic. But I might be wrong. Uh, generic props, would it be under? I've got some of the. Uh, ignore the purple ones. We have some. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's some sculptures. Oh, there's loads. Yeah, we've got. I've got a lot of plugins that don't work. So uh, ignore that. It's like one of them Dyson fans that does. Are these got actual? Uh, wonder if that's actually reflective. If you put it next to something. Uh, I'm guessing these were done in one of their little live art streams that they do. Um, I think that's them all, if I'm not mistaken. That's them all. Um, I don't know if they're really actually reflective or that's just the... I don't know. Anywho, that's the new stuff, the new scenery items. Uh, let's take a look at the Scarecrow Entertainer. So, Staff Management, Hire an Entertainer. Uh, do I click on him or do I change it? Oh, maybe I'll do it in that. My bad. Do you hire it as a... Yep, there we go. My bad. Scarecrow. Hire a Scarecrow. Ooh, he's nice. Hello. Yeah, he's awesome. He's... Yep, brilliant. So that's him. Uh, let's take a look at the water coaster. Because this is the one I am really excited by. And I would definitely be using this in um, the main park. So, water coaster. Um, anyone who's not really familiar with water coaster, um, Journey to Atlantis in SeaWorld, Orlando. Uh, I suppose to some extent you could class Valhalla, but it's not really because it doesn't really have any track sections. But um, Journey to Atlantis is a good example of a water coaster. It's got kind of dark ride sections um, where you've got um, like a slow boat ride, uh, and then you've got a roller coaster section as well. So, for example, this should be able to give us, um, hmm, okay, so I'm a bit confused because there should be like a water section. Hmm, so it doesn't give you the option to add on the water until you have a splash down, is that correct? I don't understand. Mm, okay, I'm a bit confused, folks, because that's not what I expected. But let's just let's go with it and see what happens. Let's put a chain lift in and just make a little bit of a coaster. Like I said, I was expecting there to be able to have a water all the way round, which which you can't, which is a shame. Because um, I, I was wanting to use this as a dark ride, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, well, let's try it with a splashdown, see how that works. So you have to... That doesn't make sense, because you can have it as long as you want now. But you can't go down as a water ride. Okay, so it's still early days. So I assume this is something they're probably still working on. Um, cause yeah, that's not what I really expected. And you can't go down from it. You can only go up. So, yeah, this is a bit dodgy, really. Because you have to go up to go down out of the water. That's a bit... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not keen on that, I'll be honest. Well, let's close him up, get him to the end and... Uh, see how it works. But yeah, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be able to have water all the way around but it seems as though you can only have it after a drop um, but like I said it's it's still early days so for now we will uh, give it the benefit of the doubt like I said they are maybe still working on this um, right let's see how this looks ok 
Okay, well, yeah, it works quite well. Like I said, I'd quite, I would have quite liked it with the, the ability to use the water anywhere and have drops in the water would have been nice. Um, but, yeah, okay, I can see. I, I ignore the non-banking. No, it's, just, it's just a test. So that's the uh, water coaster. Let's try the other new ride, which was the uh, gentle monorail ride. This one, I feel, should be a bit higher. Let's go six. And let's go a little bit of station. And then off we go. So we don't really have any major pieces that we can fit into this. But, you know, it's a generic. goes up and down. Kind of being, having going up. Look at this. Oh, yes. Exciting. Uh, let's go down one more. There we go. Bring him home. I think that's it, one there, and then back into the station. And there we are. So let's open that and see how that goes. See what features we have here. I'm guessing like ride speed. Oh, that 30 is there's an error there. We have errors, folks. Um, so gentle car rides. You can't change the speed. Hmm. Okay, and there it is. Happy little gentle ride. So there we go. Um, right then. So that's mostly the updates, really. Um, scenery protects from rain. I can't really show you that one until we have some. But what I'm assuming that means is if you put one of the uh I think there's some like oh they've oh sorry. There used to be some like canopies. Uh what were this got the class stars? Not archways. But actually the arch archways may do it. Um but yeah there's some like little uh what are they under? Pavilions. These are the guys so I assume now with these, if I put some pavilions here, just as an example, when it rains, the rain will stop on top and then underneath you nice and clear. So what that gives you, and I can I can see them probably putting this in if they haven't already done so, um, they seem to be very guest focus on this game. So I think that will be part of the final build. So you're going to have to really think about covered areas in the parks so they've, the guests have got a, a place to escape from. Uh, the weather uh, it's very geared up for um, real life AI it seems with this especially now they've added this scenery rating so let's click on a guy and see what he's thinking this park is boring well there's nothing in it you've paid to come in you dick um, so that's what he's got um, so here's his new immersion rating so if I for example extend this path around all these. Oh, that's quite decent. You got that little. <laughs> that's pretty nice. It's a good little effect, that. So it's like the, ever the scenery interacts with. Yeah, okay. So now I would assume this guy is immersion. Should be on the way up as he walks around here. Yeah, there we go. So because there's theming in the vicinity, the immersion goes up. So all these things you got to wonder about. Ah, rain. Right, let's check the rain. Okay, so you can't really see it on the actual... Uh yeah, you can't see it, but it does say it's been added. Um, it's basically wor worded, added scenery protects ride paths from the rain. So, unless it's just buildings. So it could mean that uh, are they saying anything about the rain? No, not saying anything about the rain. Um, not yet, anyway. Yeah, no one's saying anything about the rain. Um, but, I mean, it's in the game now, so it's interesting to see um, that that might that is going to be added at some point. 
um, and that's potentially where they're going with it to give the guests a little bit more of a realistic uh, mindset to this sort of thing um, you've broken down oh no either that or it's just crashed I mean it could have it could be here where it's just not got enough speed anyway I know I'm not that bothered oh no it's still going just block breaks that's weird anyway um, I think that's about it for Alpha 19 uh, oh god it bumped that it's a bit weird anyway uh, yeah that's about it for Alpha 19 um, there'll be a few more videos coming out from Park Tech soon as I'm, I am getting back into the build series uh, as I was kind of a bit, a bit distracted with Planet Coaster for a couple of weeks um, but all in all I do still really like this game uh, and, and it's you can tell that the developers really care and are putting in a hell of a lot of work and effort into everything that they do um, so it's a very interesting game to follow and to watch and I'm very excited for the future of uh, Parkitect because I think the future is very bright with this because it's uh, it's got such potential. Anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon for more um, videos on Park Tech, Planet Coaster, and various other games. Um, if you haven't done so already, please give us a like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Um, click that little bell notification to stay up to date with all our videos. Um, and if you've got any comments, questions, or queries, please drop down in the comments below, and I will answer every single one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye.